I think that growing up with a pretty stereotypical working class family uh, impression of Detroit, there was a lot of negativity, there was a lot of seeing Detroit as a sad place. But I think as an artistic person, as a creative person, you can come through Detroit and you don't see the negative things, you see opportunity, you see potential, you see transition, you see a city in transition and uh, maybe on a threshold of some new uh, experience. So I think artistic people will find opportunity, they, they have creativity to make something out of nothing. I think that maybe the art process and just being an artist has a lot of qualities that I really like. Working on projects for me is very meditative. It's, it, it's, um, it's kind of my solace, it's my, my peaceful time is when I can work on site, whether it's in the studio or, or in a gallery or museum or even in an abandoned building. I've been exploring vacant and unused spaces for most of my life. Since I was a kid, I, I grew up by the railroad tracks and I would hike on the railroad tracks and that would take me to kind of abandoned factories. And, uh, and I just really started exploring all through my childhood into adulthood at these places. One of the reasons I'm attracted to being in Detroit is because nature has kind of started to reclaim territory here. There, I think there might be, I don't think it's just me, I think there might be a real uh, longing for this kind of wilderness. There might even be a longing for the age of discovery, like a longing for a time when you could find places that hadn't been found yet. Uh, and we kind of know that that's all gone. So I think that there's a part of me that really wants to try and not only find that feeling again, but maybe create that feeling so people can discover the pieces I'm working on. Uh, I didn't always blend photography and sculpture and installation work. It, it's just been an organic process. Uh, building sculptures on site, uh, that probably started about 10 years ago. And through the last 10 years, uh, I've transitioned into not only building sculptures site specifically, but needing to document that whole process so that other people could see it. The thing that I really love about exhibiting artwork is that you can make connections with people. Uh, I love how everyone has a different perspective on things. Everyone comes from such a different place and sees things from a different angle. And I think maybe that, that might be getting to the crux of it is that I love learning. I'm usually interested in making an art piece that speaks to a greater idea about this happening everywhere, about trash and humans abandoning things and humans uh, wasting things more than I am talking about just Detroit's version of that. A lot of the abandoned buildings I work in in Detroit are abandoned and left that way because they're in places where people can kind of get away with it. They can just leave the building to go to waste and um, so yeah there is a part of me that is interested in working in spaces that will draw attention to something which I feel like might want to, I, I might think needs to be changed. So I think there are, are ways where I've done work that is recycling wasted materials or using spaces that seem to be neglected or that people look at as negative. I decided I would use that material to make sculptures and in essence in some small way be cleaning up the trash that was dumped in these areas. So for instance I made this pyramid out of tires and that was all tires that I would find dumped throughout the city. Uh, the history of Detroit comes up a lot because I've grown up here. But uh, one of the things I think I say pretty consistently is that people often talk about Detroit in the last 100 years. They see what happened at the birth of the automobile and they see where we are now. And this is their microcosmic viewpoint of the history of Detroit. But it's so incomplete. When someone comes to a city like Detroit and sees uh, decay and abandonment and things falling apart, nature reclaiming things, I think that uh, People can see that as a failure, they can see that from a nostalgic viewpoint of what used to be versus what's now. But for me, I see it as a natural cycle. If we, we are a part of that, everything that we've made is a part of that, everything that has ever existed is a part of that. We're always transitioning, we're always evolving, we're always dying. And I, I don't know if everyone likes to think of that. Sometimes we want to remove ourselves from that, like somehow we're not a part of that. But we are, and to me, that's there's something beautiful in that, and, and I, I think that it's almost an exercise for me to accept it by working with that all the time. I'm kind of becoming good with it too. Over the years, I find it really the most intriguing thing. 
So this idea that somehow uh, the city is, I don't know, hit some point where it's is done to me is kind of ridiculous. The fact is that this is still a pretty interesting place to live and it will transition into something else. It just isn't going to be the same thing forever. It never has been the same thing. It always transitions. For more information on Scott Hawking's works and exhibitions, visit scotthawking.com. You'll also find links to these stories and much more at DetroitPerforms.org.